South Africa now's reopening plan is very much facing a setback because of the latest numbers of coronavirus, which is getting considerably worse. An ominous surge in COVID cases. Schools that reopened in June are now shutting again for at least a month. The country has now surpassed 400,000 cases, the fifth most in the world. And for countries like France and Germany, they've got South Africa as a high-risk country for travel and requiring a compulsory test, uh, a COVID test, when you return, which might, of course, lead to 14 days in quarantine. The South African Tourism Minister, Mamaluku Kubai Ngubani, joins me from Johannesburg via Skype. Um, Minister, what's gone wrong? South Africa seemed to have a very strong, if not um, lockdown. It had perhaps somewhat odd rules about alcohol and uh, smoking. But now, the reopening, the numbers are going up. Um, greetings, um, Richard. Um, I think one of the things that you've got to understand, like many other countries, as you look at the trends globally, is that we are now in our winter season. Um, we started when the, the pandemic actually, we first had our first imported case. We were still in summer, and that's why the cases um, and the numbers were not moving quite faster. And we moved quickly to get our systems ready, and then we did a lockdown. But because of the economic impact on activities such as in tourism, and then we moved into, we adopted a risk adjusted strategy where we had about five, we have five levels. Level five, it's hard lockdown. Level four, it's hard, um, almost closer to lockdown restriction. And we are now at level three. So it's almost like moderate. And now we're seeing community transmission. So it's not that we've locked down completely from level five to now. We've opened up, we've started to but make some movements. We've allowed people to go to work. That's why you're seeing some of the transmissions right. happening. So it's not of control, but we are managing it. The fear is that this is going to get out of control. Uh, that I mean, you know, we can talk. I know you're the tourism minister, but realistically, no, the, the, the tourism will will not take place this year uh, in any meaningful sense, and may not be maybe well into next year uh, before that's able to happen. And the risk is that the situation in South Africa will get out of control. I don't think so. Um, when we look at our projections, working as government together with our, our epidemiologists who are doing trends in terms of how we do, how, how we are performing, that's what I'm saying. If you look now, South Africa is in winter, and if you look at how the pandemic has conducted itself or has performed in other regions, they've seen the surge during winter. As summer approached, they started to see stability, and that's what we expect in South Africa. We don't expect that right. we are not going to see tourism completely out of this year. We do have so, mainly, we have tourism activities in winter, but our peak season starts in September until March. So that's what we're targeting to have. Our recovery strategy starts with domestic activities, then move to regional and then into international front. Okay, let's so, so, we are so really but, but realistically, reali re realistically, you can't be, I mean, are you seriously expecting large scale tourism, which to me, even in September, uh, particularly bearing in mind countries like France and Germany have still got you on the high risk list requiring testing. Um, Minister, I just wonder how, how far and how realist, how real th th those expectations can be. Richard, that's what I'm saying, domestic tourism. If you look at our potential as a country, in 2018, we had about 2.6 million in terms of movement of tourists domestically. In 2019, we're able to move it to 7.1. So there is an opportunity for us to really drive domestic tourism, not only depending on international. We'll move into international area where we're saying, that's what we're saying, our strategy starts with domestic, having South Africans to move. People are right. sitting in the houses, they are tired of being closed down. The minute you open for domestic movement, while not yet the borders for international market to come in, that's what we think 
think we'll still be able to. People are, have not right. seen their friends in other provinces, have not seen their families in other provinces. The VFR, visiting friends and families, Minister, will drive as well the domestic tourism. Minister, we thank you for coming Hello. on this evening. Very kind of you. Always loved my, always loved my visits to South Africa, as you know. Uh, and I can't, I can't wait for the opportunity when things improve to be coming back and visiting again.